It's become a sound many people fear. Who would have thought a simple ping could have such an impact? The message from mobile apps telling you to self-isolate has led to hundreds of thousands of people being told to stay at home. Firms have had to cope with staff shortages. Pupils have been sent home from school just as the holidays are due to begin. Well, one firm caught up in what's being called the pingdemic is Diamond Logistics. It delivers goods for the NHS and major high street names, but it's had up to a quarter of staff affected by the pings. We went to its distribution centre in Guildford to see what impact that's had. This is our Diamond Logistics head office over here. We've got our Guildford central hub of operations. This is where any of our clients calling in or emailing in will uh, reach their first point of contact with the team. They'll take bookings, they'll arrange for your drivers to get your shipments to you. Really the central hub of operations. This is our fulfillment centre where we pick, pack and dispatch all of the goods for our local clients. We have people that have been unwell with COVID. Um, we've got people that are isolating because they've been pinged by the NHS app. And we also have parents that are at home looking after children that are having to isolate. And as well, we have team members that are carers to those that are vulnerable or at high risk that have a requirement to work from home. Our frontline workers are under additional pressure. Um, they're having to work harder. It's not as simple as replacing a fulfillment centre worker with somebody from the office if, if Neville over here, for example, had to isolate. It's not a skill set that's easily transferable and it's not something we can just get a temporary worker in to support with. What would support us going forward is if we were able to take a common sense approach with businesses and allow us to, to make the call on whether or not it's suitable for our team members to come back to work or not. For example, if a team member's being pinged by the NHS app and they've um, been double vaccinated and they're testing negative, why would we not allow them to come back into work and take all of the necessary precautions, um, including wearing face masks or social distancing? Well, a little earlier, I spoke to the owner and founder of Diamond Logistics, Kate Lester. She's currently having to isolate herself because her son had COVID. I asked her, as the UK has one of the highest case rates in the world, and scientists say it is crucial to self-isolate when you're sent an alert, surely safeguarding people's health should be business's main priority. I absolutely believe that safeguarding our, our health should be a priority, but there's got to be a degree of commerciality and, and enabling key workers and supply chains to still be able to function. You know, we're not just talking about um, doing things for the fun of it. We're talking about, you know, being a key deliverer of PPE, you know, blood transfusions, etc., etc. So, you know, our work is vital. Uh, and we've got the majority of our team that are double vaccinated. Um, and there's an argument between whether they should be double vaccinated and still excluded from work when they've been you know, exposed to live COVID cases, but particularly when you've just been pinged on an app. So you're potentially in a restaurant, you know, potentially not very close to the source of that COVID. And that's extraordinarily limiting, you know, in terms of how many people at work at our place at the moment that are self-isolating. You describe yourselves as key workers. New rules say only health and social care workers won't need to isolate if they get pinged. The government said it will consider exemptions on a case-by-case -case basis now. Will your company be applying? Well, we're going to have to apply, but I think the government once again is adding yet another layer of bureaucracy to a business that is very, very busy and very much under pressure. Um, you know, we've had Brexit, we've had the Suez Canal crisis, now we've got to apply for an exemption, an exemption that was given at the start of the pandemic. So at least can we have consistency in terms of how we are deemed as a, as a business? We were deemed a key worker then, our uh, uh, services were deemed crucial, and they need to be that now. In four weeks' time, the rules are due to change anyway, so double-jabbed people won't have to self-isolate if they take a daily test. Can your company wait that long? Well, we're already seeing a 20 to 25 percent um, of our team off. And whilst we're not seeing any impact in terms of our end users, our team's having to work incredibly hard. And in the same way, the lorry drivers or the nurses or the care workers are all having to lean in. There's only so much time that we can lean in for, you know, and with all due respect, with there being that sort of four weeks before these um, additional uh, leniencies are allowable, why can't they do that now for key workers? Why can't they do it for vital industries. I'm sure you're seeing, as I am, that there are gaps on the shelves as it stands at the moment. Well, that's the same thing throughout the supply chain. Kate Lester from Diamond Logistics, thanks very much for your time. Thank you.